Hi, this is Paul from Production Room here with Phil from Eve Audio. We're here today looking at the two series range of active studio monitors. So Phil, tell us about them, two series. Yeah, so uh, thanks a lot Paul for inviting me down today. Um, so we're going to go through the Eve Audio range, uh, particularly the two ways. And uh, essentially there's uh, four different sizes depending on your room size and uh, your power requirement. Um, essentially you have the SC204, little baby um, four inch driver. Um, then you have the 5 inch driver version. Um, the 207 houses a 6.5 driver, but we've rounded it up obviously. And then we have the, uh, the SC208. Um, so, you know, obviously, frequency response um, of the 204 um, is about 64 hertz, ranging up to the 208, which goes down to a remarkable 36 hertz, so uh, very deep. So, obviously, the question when you're looking at all the competition and what everyone else mm. does. Uh, we kind of pride ourselves here on trying to make make the place an opportunity for people to A, B, mm. all the leading brands, which is why we've got you guys here. Um, and there's always the Genlec versus Eve when it comes to tweeters, mm. whether it's ribbon or whether it's not. So from your point of view, why do you guys, why did you go down the ribbon tweeter route? Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of history behind this, the designer, Roland Stenz. Um, he, he came from a, another well-known factory that, uh, and brand that uh, employed the Air Motion Transformer, or the Rim Tweeter. Um, and so he, he felt that the Air Motion Transformer was the best way of representing the high frequencies. And therefore, he continued that technology into the EVE um, business. Um, but uh, apart from the Air Motion Transformer, there's... Uh, a lot of new technologies that make Eve stand out uh, from from the competition in in a number of different technologies. And uh, is there a frequency response you mentioned? Do, do the, does the ribbon tweet a stretch a lot higher, or is it? Yeah, well, it can do, um, and, and and this is um, what what some people try to try to um, really embrace is the the, the high cutoff. Um, availability of an air motion transformer. Um, if you're using a, a class AB amplifier um, then you can extend the high frequencies up way beyond the human hearing. Um, you can go up to um, 35, 40 kilohertz, um, maybe even more, but um, with the EVE audio design, because it uses internal DSP, um, it, uh, it, it brick wall filters um, at 21 kilohertz. And the reason for that is, is because it's an absolute digital signal fed to the digital amplifiers, the PWM amplifiers. Uh, and therefore, um, the, the, the need to extend it beyond the human hearing um, was just justified as not being um, needed. Just in case you had any three-day-old bats. Well, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to get sourced to extend beyond that in most electronic equipment, um, number one, it's, um, you know, um, it's, it's not normally there. You can't normally hear yeah, it. But yeah. sometimes the, um, the actual um, the signal can be affected by those high frequencies. And yeah. quite often people talk about ear fatigue when they're listening to speakers. And in particular, the air motion transformer can drive a lot of high frequency signal into the ear and into the mind. And sometimes, you know, if it's a lot of power in them high frequencies, you get ear fatiguing. And so um, just working it within the boundaries of the human hearing um, just allows you to take some of that uh, clutter that you can't hear that, that is part of the signal yeah. uh, it just takes some of that away and, and stops and that fatiguing. Happening. So that's the primary reason why DSP is on board the boxes, yeah? Yeah, well the DSP, again, it's, it's, it's a modern way of designing a speaker. Um, you know, Class AB amplifiers, um, one, um, they're extremely inefficient. They, they can often uh, work as little as 40% efficiency. Right. Whereas with um, PWM digital amplifiers and a digital system, um, the, 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 uh, you can go up to efficiencies of 80-90%. So that, all that loss of efficiency normally translates as heat, which also generates noise, yeah. and therefore yeah. you know, having a much cleaner signal using modern technology, including you know, the digital system, uh, just makes it all absolute. You know? It makes it all sort of yeah. tight and, uh, uh, and, and natural. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, thank you. Thanks for coming down right. today. Um, what we would say, as I'm sure Phil would, is don't believe us, don't believe anyone, no. don't believe the web. Without yes. a shadow of a doubt, get down to a store, yeah. preferably production if you're in the Leeds area, and listen to these speakers because uh, they are truly outstanding yeah. and they really, really stand up against the competition. Indeed. And, um, and hear them for yourself, so thank you again. Come on down. <laughs>